Tala Tirmizi grew up in Karachi, Pakistan. Here, because power generation couldn't meet daily demands, millions of people suffered blackouts, often on days with the most severe temperatures. Tell me just what that feels like when you're in your modern apartment and electricity just goes out. Imagine having the same difficulty going on repeatedly for hours and hours every day. So for example, I come back from my school in a very hot summer and when I come home, there's no fine operating. It's really difficult, especially during the nights when you need the light most and you need the fans to sleep, so you're getting sleep deprived. Right. Other thing is, if there's not enough light in the room, I will not have light to study. Right. You can't plan. Yes, you cannot do anything. You don't have electricity to run the computers, and you don't have enough light to read the books. So what you're going to do? You're wasting the time. We used to have battery as a backup, but that also you didn't used to like work more than like two or three hours. Right. But right now the situation is better, but there are areas where there's still blackouts. I'm not just talking about small area, they're like whole right. like districts you can whole say. Districts. Half the people in the developing world live in cities where electricity is unreliable. This impacts their daily lives, education, productivity, healthcare, industry, government function the entire economy. Do people, when they think about this, there's global climate change and there's energy, and a big part of the country lives in some level of energy poverty. Are they focused on the energy and, and trying to get that, or are they worried about climate change? So most, like the most important issue when it comes to energy was the climate change. Mm -hmm. But the people, they, they understand the energy challenge because this is something like everyone is affected. I'm just talking about one thing, but it's affecting everything. Right. So it's a very high priority. We, we have to start like the change yeah. and try to uh, think more on, on solutions rather than focusing entirely on the problems. So that's how the real change is going to happen not just in one country, but we, the whole globe. Yeah. Three and a half billion people in dozens of countries, 45% of the world's population, struggle with unreliable electricity today. This will drive their energy policy.